Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing part something of uh, Build a Boat for Treasure. Sorry I haven't posted in four weeks. Uh, yeah, school's starting up again, so I just wanted to kind of hang out. So yeah. Okay, let's get right into that. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, basically, well, it's really simple. All we're going to be doing is making the welding work better because uh before it would only weld to a block if you actually clicked on that block so we're going to change that the code is really simple but the actual like process of thinking of the code was pretty hard okay so let's go into here and uh we can just do that because the rotation doesn't really work that i mean it does work i guess so we it doesn't really work for the new welding, but yeah. I mean, actually, it probably does. I I haven't tested it yet, but yeah, it probably works for the new welding. Okay, so you can also just do that. And okay, so we're gonna say, um, uh, we're gonna do local touch list. So it's just gonna be like a list of all the things that it's touching. And we're going to set that equal to workspace dot get, oh, no, not dot, colon, get parts, uh, or get part in bounding box, bound, get part bounds in box. So what this does is it uh, returns an array of parts whose bounding boxes overlap a given box. And uh, in our case, that box is just going to be uh, a little bit bigger than the actual blocks bounding box. So we're gonna get, or we're gonna set it to the oh, block dot primary part dot C frame. So we're gonna set it to that C frame, so the block C frame. And then we're gonna set it to the block size plus a little bit, like a little bit of uh, space, I, I guess. So we're gonna say block dot primary or I just said block dot primary block dot primary part dot size, uh, and we're gonna add vector three dot new, and uh, we're gonna add probably like point two, yeah, probably like around point two. It can change. You can change it a bit up, but um. This is what I. This is what you should probably do because it adds 0.1 to each side, I guess. Okay. So that should be it, right? That's. Oh wait. Oh no. Okay. So we need overlap params. So just do overlap params dot new, and you don't need to put anything inside of it. It's already good. Okay. Now I'm gonna do four i v in touch list. Oh do and inside here we're just going to put this also we should actually take all of this okay and then you can do control uh or to un or to comment something out do control uh question mark and then to uncomment it out just do control question mark all right so and then to make it go down a couple tabs just do shift tab it makes it go down one then to make it go up one just do tab okay so basically all we need to do is change this target like everything that says target to v because uh iv in touch list i is the like current number that we're on in touch list and v is the actual like value okay and then actually this should pretty much be fine, I think, right? Yeah, wait, actually, yeah, okay, we should put it on block.primary part. Cause you can, you can either put this on um, the part, like V, or you can put it on block.primary part. I think we should just put it on block.primary part. Okay, so, Believe it or not, this is actually all we need. <laughs> so if you click play, it should already be done. 
build. Have this little block here. You uh, place it on the ground, not on the actual block. So this is what we can do now. We can build and everything will connect even if you aren't placing it on the actual block. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm out. Okay, wait. Move chat. There we go. Bam. Okay. So, this is my little thing. And as you can see, it's all welded. And then, obviously, I have to explain why the oof, this new oof sound is so bad. You can't hear it, but the oof sound is bad. Okay. Well... I'll see you in the next one, maybe in like a week or two. Okay, bye.